simplify the limit as h approaches 0 of cosecant of x plus h minus cosecant of x divided by h. Notice this looks familiar because this means the derivative of a function f with respect to x. Let's recall what the limit definition of the derivative looks like. The limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So this problem is not actually a limit problem. It's asking us to recognize the limit definition of the derivative, identify what the function is, and find its derivative. So notice the way it's set up where we're subtracting f of x. This is the function, f of x equals cosecant x. Because it is placed in the limit definition of the derivative, we want the derivative f prime of x, which using just our derivative of trig function rules is negative cosecant x cotangent x, and we're done. Find all points on the graph of f of x equals x plus sine x, where the tangent line is horizontal. Remember that a horizontal line has a slope of 0. Therefore, it will have a derivative of 0. And when it says find all points, they mean all of the ordered pairs x and y. Let's start by finding where the derivative equals 0. f of x is this, so f prime of x is 1 plus cosine x. We want where the derivative equals 0, so we'll set our derivative equal to 0. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives us cosine x equals negative 1. And we think about our unit circle, where does cosine equal negative 1? And that's going to be over here at pi radians. So x equals pi. However, we're not limited to a certain domain, so think about that we can get to pi or cycle all the way around one circle, which is adding 2 pi. And we can continue to do that forever. We can also subtract an entire circle forever, and we still will get negative 1 when we plug those angles into the cosine function. So to show that we can add or subtract any amounts of circles, we say plus 2 pi k k being any integer, an integer, meaning it can be negative 2 pi, or 2 pi times 3, or 2 pi times 5, meaning 5 times around the circle, and so on and so forth. Now we remember that we want all of the points on the graph of that function. Right now, all we have are the x coordinates, where the tangent line is horizontal. So to find the points, we plug the x-coordinate back into the function to find the y-value. So we think f of pi, that was our first answer, would be plug in where the x is in the original function. So that's going to be pi plus sine of pi, which is pi plus 0 or pi. But remember that the x-value is not just pi, it's pi plus 2 pi k. So really we want to think about if we plug in pi plus 2 pi k into the original function. So instead of x, we're plugging in pi plus 2 pi k plus sine, again instead of x, we're plugging in pi plus 2 pi k. That leaves us with pi plus 2 pi k and of course, the sine of pi, no matter how many circles we take, is 0, which of course we don't really need to write. So our x coordinate we have, and our y coordinate we have. So we'd write our set of points as the x coordinate, pi plus 2 pi k. 
oops, I'm not done writing the order pair, comma, for the y, pi, plus 2 pi k, now I can close the parentheses for the order pair, such that, or when, k is an integer. Thanks for watching.